Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. Alright, so we have another experiment for you guys today and that is playing with Vector Thrust 2 using large grid thrusters on small ships. Alright, so the plan here today is to play around with Vector Thrust 2 and also with large grid thrusters on small ships such as these. If you're not familiar with Vector Thrust, that is basically putting thrusters on rotors so that you can use minimal thrusters to fly a ship. Um, that way you put on the script, which is the one I use is Vector Thrust 2, but it looks like it's not being really maintained, but it still works out pretty well and I still continue to use it for the most part. So Vector Thrusting, what it does basically, as I mentioned before, you can use the minimal pieces and parts of two thrusters on rotors so that you can make it go forward, backwards, left and right, up and down and just using those two thrusters instead of having six different thrusters going different ways. So this is a minimal compact type of style to fly around ships with and it works out well although the script is a bit maybe a bit older it's not necessarily outdated just yet but it still works and um, what I've done here today is to play around a few different types of thrusters so as you see here we have some large small grid thrusters and the same similar setup to see if it works out pretty well and to be honest it seems to work really well same thing um, larger ones seem to have a bit of a more wobble or glitchiness to it than the small smaller version variant not too sure why maybe it does put, put out more power so it pushes a little bit more even at a little speck of power so that might be the issue but the ultimate test is of course playing around with these guys here and this is putting large grids on small little ships such as the one I created before and to do this honestly it from you from the comments that were mentioned in my large grid to small rover conversion um, you guys mentioned that you can just throw on a large grid head a large grid rotor head on top of a small grid rotor and apparently it does work out pretty well I mean I did not saying that I didn't believe you in the first place but it did work out pretty well all right so it's hard to see what's underneath so switching to inspect to the cam if we look right inside you'll see that there is indeed a small rotor here and it actually works out pretty well so if I jump into my little ship here power on vector thrust unlock my landing gears you see that it kind of works but it, it does get a little bit crazy and wobbly such as this I, mean, I can always control it and change it up but it keeps rotating a little bit too much so what I decided to do is actually add another programming block with a different script which is actually going to be the gravity aligner so the gravity aligner will help us to kind of situ situate ourselves a little bit better um, for the most part like so so trying to fix itself center out based on the direction of the control seat and it looks like it's trying to get there but it's not there just yet but I think it's because of the design of this specific ship uh, how it's heavy in the back that's causing the issue but apparently vector thrusting with these large rotor heads and large thrusters kind of works out I mean it's right now it's not ideal but it looks like it's doing pretty well it's not the best looking thing in the world because it might be nauseating <laughs> looking at it here because it just wobbles so much and um, it just moves in a weird way so why not bump it up one more and try it with the large large grid thrusters <laughs> so this one I had to add a little bit more weight to it because of how big it is on top and in the back um, just to see if it works out and corrects itself because if I plop it on without it it does kind of worse than the smaller variant of the large grid one it, it honestly I'm gonna pile this on I honestly just plops down to the ground because I think it's too heavy based on the large thrusters attached to the small rotors so the larger piece kind of takes over and for some reason it just doesn't want to fly correctly so as you see here I'll turn that on the vector thrust is on 
um, but it just tends to just not do too much for some reason so we can just recompile it we can recompile the aligner as well and we'll just turn them both on right and we, can, we can't really fly it so I'm, I'm not sure exactly why but using the large large grid variants just doesn't seem to work too well and I'm just breaking everything at this point here so it looks like it's not even on to be honest right so it is moving slightly as I'm moving it but it's not doing too much so not sure why it's doing that but it looks like the large large grid version just is not the way to go so I'm just gonna move this guy around a, just a tad okay so if you're curious what this ship is it's basically you know vector thrust ship but it's built on top of a large small grid version of a thruster um, and built around it so I just made some kind of like a helicopter or a dinosaur looking like a vehicle with vector thrust that actually flies out flies pretty pretty well all right so then I tried different variations such as this I went from large grid to small grid versions on the rotor and this one actually flies really good um, I mean honestly you could just throw in a the, the small thrusters that are large version and it flies the same thing so as you see here going backwards instead of playing with large items on a small ship we did a large ship with small thrusters and it flies pretty well minus the fact that I just landed it that way so of course we got to test it out again with just the regular large thrusters large grid thrusters and everything large grid in that sense with the vector thrust too and it works out the same way it actually flies a little bit better with the small grid versions on there for some reason I'm not sure why but I guess it can be somewhat random here and there because last time I was flying this it worked out pretty well and it didn't have this type of wobble but in today's test or this current test it looks like the small grid thruster ver variants work a little bit better than the large grid ones and to top it off I did a combination of both so I created a sled like machine here and attached two large rotor heads into the small ones right in between here to see if that works out and honestly this one flies pretty good it's pretty stable for the most part not completely but just standing still you see that I'm it's not bad at all and it, it might be just because of the placement of the large grid small thrusters or even a combination of a small large thruster if that's not confusing enough but flying this guy with vector thrust works out really really well as you see here I can go left right uh, forward backwards up and down very very easily as you see here and it's it's a little bit wobbly for the like just slightly but it works so much better than the previous few that we had so it definitely is possible to run vector thrust with a small ship with the large grid thrusters maybe not the largest one but this actually worked out pretty well to my surprise to be honest and yeah I mean the, the way to do it if you're curious um, is to, there's two ways to do it one is to if you have build vision it's easier that way you can actually get to the rotor headpiece right and then on build vision you want to get to the rotor if you can I can't get to it right now but if you get to the rotor oh there you go I think that's it if you, yeah if you get to the rotor you can um, have your mouse on you have to curse no, you have your selection on attached drop the rotor head hit the middle mouse button and it attaches on to the small grid um, rotor small grid rotor for the sideways one that's a little harder to do so I grab this guy with the landing gear grab the large head flip the sideways and plopped it down to the side and, and then attached it and that worked out pretty well can't promise that you're not going to experience clang if you're going to try it that way um, it, I think it's a give or take sometimes it will clang out sometimes it won't I got lucky it didn't clang out and it produced a pretty pretty cool ship so in terms of the experiment it works out pretty well but I guess it's based on a design factor so it has to be designed in a specific way maybe 
um, so that it flies decently. So my first initial design that looked like a helicopter converting to large grid, that definitely didn't work out. And I'm pretty sure it's because the center of weight, center of mass or the center of the weight was not in the correct place. That's why I did that. And the combination one flies so much better because most of the weight is right in the middle uh, for the most part. But let's just take one quick step further and what I try to do is actually place a large thruster on top of a rover to see if we can just use that propulsion to um, you know drive a lot faster. However, for some reason, um, it just doesn't like to stay still and it decides to kind of float away and it's pretty much clanging it out a bit from as you see here. I mean, the thruster is not technically on. If I put the script on, I put a, maybe a subgrid thruster script on. It works out. The, the thruster does work. But there's no real control because it just clangs out like this. So I know it for sure it can work with a rotor. But it looks like if you put it on a hinge, um, if you do small grid to large grid on a hinge, it just kind of freaks out a bit. So ideally, you probably want to do this mostly with a rotor instead of a hinge. I just want to give the hinge a try as an experiment and that just doesn't seem to work too well. And for those who are saying maybe because it's touching the hinge a bit, um, that's my initial thought too. So if I did change it up and put on here, it still does the same thing as you see. Um, so I guess we can test and see what if we put a smaller one. Nope. Anything you put on it, Thruster wise, it's just going to freak out a bit for whatever reason. Um, not sure why it does that, but this is probably not natural <laughs> to have a 3x3 three three hinge part on top of a large grid hinge. Alright, so if you made it this far to the video, of course, hit that thumbs up, like the video. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that notification bell. Feel free to drop a few comments down below as I read them all the time and enjoy them very much. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.